Hi, and welcome to another episode of Coloring with Lisa and my Extreme Coloring Method. Um, I am going to do an episode of uh, coloring um, strawberries with you guys. Um, here is um, a picture here that I made a worksheet where we're going to... Um, I, I gave a little bonus here where you can color this in, um, but we're going to learn how to do strawberries, okay? So um, let's kind of get right into this here, okay? So let's get close up here and personal. Um, strawberries are, are really fun to do, but everyone, you know, it's kind of, everybody thinks it's really hard to get a realistic strawberry. So um, I'm going to um, tell you the colors that you're going to need here to get started so you can get them out, okay? So I'm going to write it on a piece of paper and I'm going to put it up on a video. Okay, so in case you wanted to um, get your colors out here, these are the colors I'm going to be using. Um, and uh, right here, in case you wanted to pause that and get them out, I accidentally put two L's, but you got it. <laughs> All right, so you might want to get out those colors. All right, so let's get started here. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is kind of figure out where you want your uh, light source to be, okay? So, um... With mine, I mean, depending on where your strawberry is in your picture, okay, so where, where mine is, I'm just going to want mine kind of right in the middle here for illustration purposes, okay, so I'm going to start with my light peach, and I'm just going to put a light area kind of around here, and I want to leave white in the middle, and I'm going to kind of go around here, okay, you'll be able to see it more as it gets a little bit darker but um, I'm leaving white and light peach here you probably I don't even know how you'll be able to see it in the camera but you'll be able to see it as we progress okay all right okay so now let's take uh, you'll be able to see it as we get darker okay so let's take our Scarlet Lake okay and what we want to do is I think to make it easier for you let's just um, take and outline all of these little seeds with them just so that they can kind of pop out a little bit. Okay, just outline them so they have a nice little outline to all these little seeds. Okay, just Nothing fancy, just just outlining them. Okay. Now with strawberries, we got to do lots of layers, okay, and some what's called burnishing. Burnishing means that we're going to do lots of layers, and then we're going to. Um, layer on top of layer and we're going to kind of press harder as we go along to get rid of the tooth of the paper okay um, so that we can um, smash like smash the layers together I guess so to speak okay now take your Scarlet Lake and what we're going to do is leave a little bit of room on the sides of these to make it easier um, like just a little bit of room. Just kind of watch. Follow along a little bit here. Just leave a little bit of room to give it a little bit of air on the sides of these to create some depth. Just follow along with me on your practice paper. Okay. These are available if you're a patron. You'll of mine. You'll you'll get this um, downloaded in your um, you know when you're a patron. You you just get these for free every time I do something new you'll just get it if not it's on my Etsy store you'll get can just get it on my Etsy store you can download them there okay if you just came across my YouTube channel okay you just go to my Etsy store the link is on the bottom of this um, video but if you're a patron you just get you get them automatically whenever I put something out and there's bonuses and stuff too. I actually, of this strawberry here, there's actually a full page version of that. So if you want to do one, you can put it on your on your wall or whatever. Frame it up. All right, so I'm just going to go around and just um, go around here. Now in here where I had my light source, I'm going to put a nice... I don't want to put any color in here. Um, I kind of messed up because I was talking, so but that's okay. I'm just gonna do.
do it nice and light inside here. So even I mess up, so it's okay. I'm just gonna just go nice and light in there. See? And I'm just I don't know how it's going to come out now because I wasn't paying attention, so I'm going to have to fudge this a little bit, so it's okay. Because I wanted the light to be more in the middle, now I'm going to have to make it a little bit on the sides. But that's alright. We're going to we figure out ways to make things work. Around here. Alright, now I'm just going back in here. And I'm just going around little circles. These are, you can see there's really no direction. I'm just kind of going around here with this Scarlet Lake going around these little seeds. See? It's already looking like a strawberry, right? We want it to look like a really good strawberry. All right? A lot of people are really afraid to do fruit because they think it's too hard. Well, I'm going to show you how to make it nice and easy. Well, as easy as I can, anyway. So I'm going to change the way that the light went because I kind of, like I say, messed up a little bit because I wanted it in a different area, but that's okay. We'll have the light going over here. All right. All right. So now you can still see there's still a nice little light source here. Okay. As long as you have a nice little light patch, so it has some life to it, we're good. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to start. Um, giving it some more depth, okay? So what we want to do now, we want to start um, darkening it a little bit. So let's come over here and just start adding a little bit more layers, okay? Around it. And I'm just kind of going around this areas here. And see, now I'm putting in a little bit more layers around it, okay? And darkening it up, putting a little bit more pressure, a little bit more layers. Okay, leaving a little bit of light around some of these um, seeds. Instead of just filling it all in one color, I want little areas of lightness. It just gives a little bit more realisticness to this beautiful little berry. Okay, see? Just filling it all in, all the way around here, just coming in like so, just coming in around here, just fill in your berry. And then lighten it up a little bit, blend it in slightly, you know, so it has a nice blend to it where it fades in nice. Kind of go over a little bit, you know, like just blend over it nicely. So it's not a total, you don't want a total white line, you know, you want it to be um, blended in slightly, you know, you don't want just a solid white stripe here around these little seeds. You want a nice blend. You know, like a little bit of coverage. Okay. okay. Put more layers over here. And 
just keep adding layers. Okay, just keep adding layers. Keep putting those layers on. Like so. Careful when you get into your light area. Careful when you get in here. Push a little harder when you're down here. See, I'm, I'm putting, putting pretty hard pressure down in here. Right in here, I'm pushing really hard actually. You know, I'm really burnishing that in. Same thing over here. Pushing pretty, pretty hard. Pushing pretty hard in here now. Adding a little bit more. Pushing it in a little bit more on the layer. Why don't, and you're asking probably, why don't I do that at first when I'm in? Because it, when, if you come in and just start pushing really hard and making it all one color, you're not going to have, you're not going to have areas of light and dark. You're just going to have uh, nothing but one solid color. You're not going to have that really cool um, layered look. And we don't, that's not what we want. We want to have a realistic looking strawberry, right? So we gotta, I'm turning it because I need to be comfortable with my color too. So I'm gonna, okay. And if your pencil starts getting um, not sharp, you gotta sharpen it. Keep a nice sharp pencil tip. Okay, when you get in here to where it's light, you know, or where your, um, you know your light source is just start make sure you keep your you don't want to lose your light area and then you see how I'm kind of going in little circles too I'm not um, going in one direction I'm kind of going you know various different area di various different um, uh, directions I'm going round and you know circles and See, I'm doing all different kinds of ways. Okay, and we're going to come in here and just kind of lightly in here. All right, now, okay, we've got a nice little light source in here. Okay, now I want to grab, grab this light, your peach again. And let's come in here with our peach. And we're going to start kind of blending this area in here. We can kind of more fade that in a little bit. Uh, make a nice little, a little bit more of a blend. Blend this in nicely. So it has a little bit nice of a blend in here. You want to maybe come around these areas in here. Come around your your little maybe some seeds maybe yeah, some put some light in here. All right, you can use this peach as a little to give it like a I don't know a little waxy over it. See, just kind of put some peach to use it as a little blender. Okay, and then you're gonna now let's grab your. Uh, your crimson red okay now your crimson red uh, is a little bit brighter as you notice it's like a deeper richer red we're gonna come in here with that and we're gonna add this over here on this side and just put some of this in here and just kind of layer it in and lightly put it in some areas. You don't have to do it in all the areas, but just let's add a nice layer, some crimson red. Deepen up the berry a little bit. Just play around with it. It adds a lot of rich richness, this crimson. 
crimson red. See, this adds another layer. Um, just play around. If you don't like too much of a halo, you can. Strawberries. You got a good strawberry, huh? Okay, now let's take this. Uh, this is your poppy, your poppy red, and let's take the poppy red now. And the poppy red is kind of like a little orangey, so we're gonna kind of add that a little bit in here to make that white not quite so stark. Okay, we're gonna kind of blend that in a little bit. Yes, we don't want that too stark. Go along the edges a little bit of that white. Give a little bit more of a realistic look to that white. See how it just, um, you know, it, it brought that shade down a little bit. It's still light, but it's just not quite so much. And then kind of blend it out in here a little bit. Blend it out a little bit. And then you can maybe grab that peach if you want. And we lost a lot of shade here. Um, I mean, a lot of that light, you know. It was a little lot lighter before, but that's because I messed up. But that's okay. we got lots of strawberries to practice on. Okay, let's blend it out. There you go. Oh, all right. Now what we want to do is we want to take some of this and give it some, this is the espresso. All right, so let's take some espresso here and we want to deepen this. And we're going to put some espresso here on the sides to really give it a little punch, you know. Give it that extreme, you know, my extreme coloring method, got to have that. Okay, so see how it, see how it was really giving it that nice shadow that you know I love. I'm just gonna come along the side of this berry here. Come along the side here. Depending on where you want your shadow, just kind of, you might want to bring it up into here a little bit. Just want to give it a nice realistic look to it. Um, I say it just depends on where you want your shadow. You could bring some of it up into here if you want as well. Okay. okay. And then we want to go underneath here, of course, too. All right. Maybe you want to add some underneath here. Right. Put some shadow. You, know, you can always go back in and give a little more if you want, but put a little shadow under here. Shadow. Right. And then you can use your um, either any of the reds really just to blend that in. You can use any of the reds, but just to deepen that in, in, you know, the more burnishing and blending you do, the better, of course. So now it's really, really just looking like it's really popping off the page there. It looks like a real strawberry. It looks 3D. Huh. Okay. It's like a real 3D strawberry. See that? It's a realistic strawberry and it's not that hard to do when you... I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for you. Um, 
Now you won't be afraid. Now you're going to look for coloring books with strawberries in it, huh? Okay, you're not going to be afraid to do these anymore. Okay, take your espresso and just lightly add a little bit more shade right in here. Just put a little bit of shade in here. See, just add a little bit of shade. Don't be afraid. Just keep playing with it. That's why I give you these sheets. You print them out and just keep practicing. Practicing, practicing. It's not that hard. You can see you're watching me do it right now. Believe me, if I could do it, you can too. You just lightly just keep adding these layers in here. And then if you want to have a little shade, you, now if your light's coming over here, you know, your light's on this side. Well, this is where I've chosen it. It's on this side here, right? So I have my light here. Um, you can even put a little bit if you wanted to on this side. If you wanted to have a little bit. Okay, just a little bit just for, you know, like that. Okay, just to deepen the side, you know, the sides of the bottom maybe. You know. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to deepen some of these little guys because they then they really will look like they're in set. But you for this you gotta really make sure your um, um, pencil is nice and nice and sharp. Okay, and you wanna just go along the sides of here and you wanna just make sure that they're nice, you know, and it makes it look like they're in set, you know. And just kind of go around. Just, it gives it a little bit of a, a shadow to them. And, all right, there you go. You don't even have to do it to all of them, just some of them. Okay, then um, what we want to do is, okay, you take your white and then just um, grab your sheet and take a piece of paper. This is just a regular gel pen, a white gel pen. This is called Art. Um, art and fly. I got it on Amazon. Uh, a lot of times I'll use a Signo pen and, and they're really expensive but I tried these because they didn't have any um, on Amazon in a, uh, any of the Signo pens and these are really cheap but they actually work pretty good. And I'm just gonna fill in some of these to really make them pop out a little bit better. Hey? Just add these to that thing. And I put the deco yellow on here because on some of them you might want to put some of these, make them some yellow on here on some of them if you want to use some yellow on some of them. Um, some seeds are a little bit yellow, um, so you can add some yellow seeds if you wanted to. Also, went over some of the white ones. Have some yellow seeds, some white seeds, um, and then if you want to give it a little bit of a glow, see you see how I'm kind of going on the outside of some of them like this, maybe to give it a little shine, like a little, kind of like a shine, I guess. You don't have to do that, and if you don't like it, you can always scratch the, the white off, if you didn't like it, if you thought it was too much. I'll show you what I mean. So like, let's say, well, I don't see if you didn't like it, well, if my kids didn't get into my exacto, which they did, but you can use an exacto, oh, well, good, I blame them, and they didn't even do it, but like, if you, if you think you didn't have, if you didn't uh, like that, let's just say you thought it was too much. You can just scrape it off, or you can even use um, you can even use your um, one of your reds. Go over it and see how it just gets rid of it right away. Okay, if you thought it was too much, because I thought it would, might have been a little much. So there you go, and then, so there you go. There's strawberry there. All right, and then now um, we will work on the um, let's work on the top part. Okay, but see now there you go. So now you don't need to be afraid of doing a strawberry. But now we'll work on the leaves and the stem. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to grab some apple green here and I'm just going to just kind of, I mean there's really not much to doing these really. I'm just going to grab some apple green in here. Okay, and then I'm going to grab that deco yellow and I'm going to put some of that deco yellow at the tip here. See how I just sort of blended it? And then on this one, I'm going to put some deco yellow kind of on the tip. See how I'm just sort of kind of putting it kind of really in random spots? See, they're not really, I didn't really put it everywhere. I just sort of randomly put them in spots, okay? I'm not going to really do anything really fancy with these leaves. Just kind of just put them in. Just basic leaf. Leafs are pretty simple. Um, well, that's because the way that this picture is, they're not really much to this leaf, you know. Um, but, you know. My main focus was not really to teach you leaves, it was to kind of just teach you the strawberry. But I'm still going to, I put my effort into everything, so I'm going to do a leaf here. Okay, then let's see, let's, what kind of color should we use? Um, Alright, let's grab a different green. Yeah, let's take a, a Prussian green, and I'm just going to, with the Prussian green, I'm just going to, kind of just give it a little bit of a shade along here and in some of the veins to give it some shade okay and again I'm not really doing anything really fancy I'm just accenting it a little bit and I'm gonna Just a leaf, it's not. I shouldn't say that though. I'm, I want to give everything its full attention, right? It's not just a leaf, it has a life too. I mean, if we did such a good job on the strawberry and then we just shined on this leaf and did a crappy job on the leaf, then that would be bad effort on our part, wouldn't it? So. I'm just kind of going around here and doing, just adding a little shade to the veins here. See, I don't like again, I gotta turn my picture because I like to work so I can where it's more comfortable for me. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do. is let's look at this thing here at our beautiful strawberry okay and I'm gonna grab our handy dandy espresso and I'm gonna give this a little bit of shade with our espresso in here right okay we're gonna shade espresso is a handy dandy shader good for all things not all things, but it's a very good shading, that's for sure.
just adds a lot of that. It just adds a lot of that extra drama when you're needing to shade some things and it adds a lot of that depth. Okay, so there we go there. Now um, for a stem, I'm just going to, let's see, I don't know. I just looked through my browns and let's see, how about, uh, let's see, what's this one? Is this a uh, French gray? I don't know. Hold on, let me, let me pick something really quick. Okay, I have to go through my browns here. And I grabbed... I don't know, I grabbed these two. Let's see what this one will do here. Let's grab, uh, this is a uh, Sienna Brown. And it's kind of kind of a nice little brown here. I'm just going to go up. I'm going to start really light first. Let's see, it's, I'm going to start really light. And then, let's see, the darker down here. So let's start darkening it a little bit down in here, right? And then I'm going to go darker in here. All right, and then what I want to do is let's try this uh, chocolate, and let's throw in some chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, my weakness. Sounds good. I like dark chocolate. All right, we'll throw some chocolate in here, and we need some chocolate up in here, and then we need some of that espresso. All right, let's put some espresso down in here. Okay, we'll put some espresso in here, and now we need to blend it. So let's blend it with that peach. Let's see if we can blend it with the peach, what will happen. Here we go. Blend it with the peach, just so we can blend that in, give it a nice soft blend. There we go. All right. Okay, there's our there's our strawberry. Yay! We did it and didn't even take that long, did it? See that? We have a nice realistic strawberry. Didn't take that long. Ta-da! Now you're not afraid of strawberries. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, now we actually have the, all these beautiful, um, this beautiful one down here, we can kind of do the same way. Um, this is a bonus for you to color. Um, when you print when you print this out, um, I will have all the colors written down here for you. Um, uh, all you know so that you can save this in your little workbook uh, you can put it in your workbook and um, so when you want to do strawberry all the colors will be listed here um, for you let me go widen now okay so um, you know when like the way I like I was trying to uh, teach you guys you know you will have basically it won't be this messy though you know but you'll have all the colors here so in your workbook you know when you flip it you'll say oh strawberry and you can just open it up and it'll be a part of your uh, reference for your coloring okay so i hope that you enjoyed this and uh, i'll see you next um when we do another fruit i think we're going to do some more fruits and we'll have fun with fruits <laughs> okay thanks a lot ciao until next time ciao